involves cannabis. As Alex knows, I don't really relish the cannabis stories, but this is an exception. This is Davos, where cannabis meets the world elite. And the thing I can't quite imagine, Ehud Barak, the former prime minister of Israel, it turns out, is working with an Israeli medicinal cannabis company. And he's over there as a spokesperson for cannabis. And he's going to be interviewed by Scaramucci. Anthony Scaramucci, I can't Which should be on Big Brother, too. which is why we're really confused. This is reportedly interviewed by Scaramucci, which is why we're confused about it. Yeah, yeah I, I'm baffled. Sort of a creative cast of characters. Well, but, but, but you know, Ehud Barak is a very serious man. I mean, he's well, Israeli Prime Minister was a brilliant man and a former uh, special forces uh, really star for the Israeli military. And I think that really speaks to the legitimacy of the cannabis industry now. I mean, you've seen big companies doing deals in this space. Clearly, they see a business opportunity here. Not too long ago, we had Altria buying that really significant stake in Juul, um, AB InBev getting into pot-infused beverages. And so corporate America is really buying into this as an opportunity. And so I'm not terribly surprised to see this emerging as a theme at Davos. I think, you know, especially as you look for where the growth is going forward, this does seem to be an area where you can find it. So Our third. this is really interesting. And if you've been following my channel, I haven't been a big proponent of marijuana stocks. And I'm going to flip my position. I was staying away from marijuana stocks, but I do believe that there's a future. It's inevitable. It's becoming more and more legitimate, especially if uh, you do have these business elites getting involved in the governments, getting involved with cannabis. And the main reason I'm very interested in cannabis is not, I mean, obviously it's a recreational product and it should compete with alcohol. So that's a great part of the market. But hemp, the industrial production of hemp, I think is what is going to really be profitable. And the reason I say this is that, you know, we do have a huge issue with plastic waste. And I know plastics can be recycled, but it's just, they're not biodegradable and uh, it's, easy for major manufacturers and it's not going to happen right away but if plastics begin begin to uh, decrease and people look for alternative biodegradable packaging like hemp i see that as really a great investment um, but obviously recreational pot use i still think is a growing market and a great market to invest in but the packaging and being able to use hemp as a biodegradable product, I really see a lot of future and promise in that. And so maybe you guys can also leave some comments, but I'm looking for companies that will uh, embrace that and offer that alternative just because I do believe there's plenty of consumers there, even if there's a little bit of a premium, will pay more for packaging that they know is biodegradable instead of uh, all this toxic chemical harm. And uh, believe it or not, like Saudi Arabia, which is a major producer of oil, they've actually been switching to producing plastics, which is a byproduct of uh, oil, because uh, uh, they're looking for w more ways to make money. And uh, it would be interesting to see that they would not only now lose that business because, once again, you know, oil and the plastics made from oil, it's just not good for our environment, which will obviously hurt our economy as well over time so there needs to be a switch i don't know when it's going to happen but definitely um, i'm changing my position i haven't invested in, in any marijuana stocks but i will be looking for opportunities especially if we enter a bear market where these stocks can be bought at a discount but let me know your thoughts on this and i will talk to you guys soon